Horizon Forbidden West is now delayed, Kina Bridge of Spirits has also been delayed, and Apex Legends is getting some big buffs to two legends. Shout out to Abhiraj Shaurya for watching our last week's top gaming news. Keep on watching that because we continue it every single week. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back once again to Gamer Connect, and you guys are watching Top Gaming News. My name is Gain Manners, and yes, we got some really interesting news coming this week because it's the month of August, and we are jumping into those news right now. PlayStation haven't revealed much new games coming to this year, but one of the games that was still coming this year was Horizon Forbidden West, the sequel to the Horizon Zero Dawn. The first game did pretty good in PlayStation, but when it came to PC, the game did even better in PC because the sales were even bigger when it came to PC. So it's quite obvious that people are very much excited for the sequel of the game, but unfortunately from the looks of it, the game has been delayed till next year. This was earlier reported by Jeff Grubb via Games Radar that Sony was leaning towards delaying the game till next year. And then Bloomberg came with another report saying that the decision has been made to delay the game to next year. The reason for this would most obviously be the pandemic because of course that is still a thing with phase 3 coming up. Of course, the game production, you know, the time taken to produce a game or make a game will take much more time. It has not been officially announced that the game has been delayed yet, but maybe that is coming very soon. And if you talk about Horizon Forbidden West, well, so far the game has very cool features, very like better graphics, much better open worlds, and it looks so much more better. Although a lot of people were angry of how Aloy looked, her face was more healthier than the first game, which people did not like for whatever reason. If you talk about my opinion, I do not care about how her face looks. She looks completely fine to me, but people somehow do not like that kind of face. And there was a whole lot of, you know, arguments going around that very topic. For the time being, Horizon Forbidden West is coming on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, although there has been no talks about the PC release yet. But since the PC release for Horizon Zero Dawn was super amazing, I think it will eventually come to PC. But now that the game has been delayed, that will take a little bit more time, maybe two, three years from the game release is when the PC release might come soon. What are you guys' thoughts on Horizon Forbidden West? Let us know in the comments below because we will be replying to your comments after the video comes out. There were numerous rumors earlier that Dead Space Remake will be directed by former director of Assassin's Creed and it looks like those rumors are true. A Ubisoft veteran for 16 years, Eric Baptizat, who left the company and joined EA Motive earlier this year, is actually the game director for Dead Space Remake. And that was found out from his own LinkedIn profile. Previously, he has worked on games such as Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Unity and Origins. The team at Motive who are working on Dead Space Remake have more former Ubisoft employees such as the creative director Roman who worked on For Honor and senior producer Philip Tachan who worked on Watch Dogs Legion. It also includes the art director of Dead Space 2, Michael Yazijian and UI designer of all three Dead Space games, Dino Ignacio. Several ex-Bioware employees are also confirmed to be working in Dead Space Remake. It's really exciting to see that different employees from different companies are now with EA Motive and they're working on the Dead Space Remake. The Dead Space Remake was earlier announced in EA Play, which was just a teaser trailer for the game. Dead Space is one of the iconic horror games of all time from EA and making a remake is a cool idea that they were inspired by Resident Evil 2 Remake. So judging by that, hopefully EA Motive would keep the horror elements and what makes it special similar to the original. EA Motive in an interview with IGN already have stated that they are reusing some assets and building some of their own and may include some cut content from the original as well as improving on various aspects of the game including some part of the story as well. Only time will tell how will EA Motive will be shaping up the Dead Space remake because to be honest EA doesn't have a very good standing when it comes to making video games in general. So I would love to see that Dead Space remake is one of their first steps to make a good game. What do you guys think about Dead Space Remake? Let us know in the comments down below. A game that I was looking forward to a hell lot was Kina Bridge of Spirits. A lush action adventure game where you are a girl wielding a staff and ready to take out anyone and protect those cute looking creatures. Unfortunately, the game has been delayed from August to September. So next month is when the game is coming out. Ember Lab tweeted that they had to delay the game and taking extra time to ensure that everyone gets the best experience possible. In my opinion, Kina Bridge of Spirits seems like a game that is worth waiting for because according to the early previews, a lot of people are actually liking the third person perspective and the mechanics in the game that is what is blowing people's mind. 
The game looks amazing, feels amazing and is completely fresh in my opinion with you know, not exactly bright colors but very cute uh, creatures and very cute people with boss battles that I'm very much looking forward to and probably an open world area. I'm super stoked to get my hands on that game and play that game because quite frankly that game is actually cheap because I consider that game to be a little bit expensive over 2000 or maybe 1500 but actually that game only costs Rs 939 and it is an Epic Store exclusive. I do get that a lot of people do not like Epic Store but regardless of that, that game looks so awesome that I just want to buy that game and play it. The game is also a PS5 exclusive which means it's not coming on PS4. I believe that states how amazing this game will be. Again that's my opinion, what are yours? Let us know in the comments below. Apex Legends next season Emergence is coming out today and players will be getting a brand new legend named Seer, a new LMG and updated new worlds map but there is more. Fuse and Caustic, these two legends are getting more buffs in the game with Knuckle Cluster of Fuse will be much more important than ever and Caustic, well he will be more gassier than ever. For Fuse, the Knuckle Cluster will be lasting twice as long. The Murder Lord Ultimate will now highlight enemies trapped inside the circle. For Caustic, Toxic Gas will increase its damage output every single second. It starts from 5 and keep on increasing on every second and there is no damage limit for the Toxic Gas which means the more you stand the more damage you will get. The toxic gas grenade dissipates 5 seconds earlier than before, limiting how long his ultimate can deny areas. It's great to see that there are new buffs coming in for Fuse because when he was out for the very first time, he was powerful but slowly went down with time. But now with this buff, people will love to play him once again. And the same thing happens for Caustic. Now with this Caustic buff, I will hate Caustic even more because I genuinely do not like Caustic. But now we can see that people will be using more of him because of how his toxic gas has been buffed a lot more. Imagine getting into a house with those gas cans and you are getting damage of 5, 6, 7, 8 every second. That's insane. Not only that, this new legend seer seems to be even more powerful. Something what Bloodhound was probably supposed to be but now I would love to play that guy. But unfortunately, I don't have enough points to unlock that guy. Damn it! Looks like it's time to play a lot of Apex Legends till I unlock that guy. It's probably gonna be a little bit of uh, 8 to 10 hours of gameplay. What are your thoughts on these buffs for these legends and the new upcoming season that's dropping it tonight? Let us know in the comments below. Epic Games quest of giving away games for free continues as the next game will be A Plague Tale Innocence which is coming out this very Thursday. A Plague Tale Innocence in my opinion is one hell of an adventure game based on 14th century France where your brother Hugo is sick of some disease and you, Amicia, will do anything to help your brother as well as everything that is happening around you. Along with a rat plague where you see hordes of rat literally eating people and you need to figure out ways to help you and your brother fight whatever these rats are. They definitely must have taken a lot of steroids. My god, they're getting better. The story is really gripping and I love that part. Although the gameplay might not be the thing that you want. The gameplay doesn't have a lot in it, there's not enough combat, there is a few here and there but it's very minor as compared to all the other games. There's a lot of stealth involved in this game which probably might not be something that you want but then again in my opinion it was good enough. The game is also getting a sequel which is coming out sometime next year continuing the story of Amicia and Hugo as they have grown up. I'm very much excited for everybody to try out A Plague Tale Innocence because in my opinion that's a great game and I also want to play A Plague Tale Requiem whose name I'm having a hard time pronouncing of but I would love to play that game when it comes out next year. So that was it for this episode of Talk Gaming News. Hope you guys got some information out of it. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what you think about this very episode and do not forget to subscribe to Gamer Connect to watch more videos on games and so much more every single week. I am Given Manus and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome, stay safe and remember to always have fun playing video games.